it is such a delight to be back on your screen. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Women's Series, where we capture developments and stories that impact women. Um, thank you for all those that watched the last episode. And if you have not, this is a good time for you to go back, watch, and then come back, because this is a continuation of what we spoke about in the last episode. Um, we're talking about investments, and last week we spoke about the crypto markets and how you can invest through NFTs, the tokens, and other investment platforms, and that's exactly what we will be talking about today. So if you're a woman out there, you're thinking about how you can invest, what you can put your money into, how you can grow your wealth and have generational wealth, this is definitely for you. I have a guest with me that's going to be having such such interesting conversation with me today. That is Adaize Wanchuku. The research analyst in ProShare who covers the fixed income markets, and that's exactly what we'll be doing today. But before we meet that, let's go on a quick break, and we'll be back. Tune in to Web TV Daily to stay up to date and informed on the financial market, personal finance, and more. We have got you covered with all your favorite TV shows, economy and politics, market review, women series, Millennial Talk, Islamic Finance Weekly, The Brief, exclusive interviews, events, and we keep you up to date on all the updates in the financial market with the market opening gong. Watch premium content, watch web TV, same news, different perspective. Yeah, welcome back. So if you're just joining us, this is the Women's Series, where we capture developments and stories that impact women. So let's go straight into the conversation for today. And uh, now we're about to meet my guest. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> How are you doing today? <laughs> are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for having me. Are you? You're welcome. Well, thank you for coming. Like, <laughs> I mean every sense of the word. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Because you understand why. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I'm telling you, thank you for coming. I know. And now you, you cover the fixed income market and um, we're trying to make people understand the importance of investment. Okay. I mean, last episode, we, we emphasized on investments and we, we established that you can only invest when you've grown your savings to a particular level. Let's start with that. Do you even agree with that statement? Where before you, can, before you say you want to invest, you have to have grown your savings to a particular level. Do you agree with that? Uh... Not really, and is um, I think it's relative also. Okay. Yeah, because fixed income is like an upgrade from the savings. Okay. Uh, savings account. Mm -hmm. With fixed income, you preserve your wealth and uh, get, you get a return. Mm -hmm. But the savings, mm -hmm. I don't think I watched the last episode. Mm -hmm. The person said after three withdrawals in a month, that's <laughs> you take your interest. So yes, now fixed. This income is such a huge upgrade. Mm. Okay, and that's exactly what we want you to talk about today. Yeah. Everything we need to know about fixed income, the ABCs, the whys, the how, <laughs> okay. the what, anything we need to know, the oh, okay. ifs. I mean, I got a lot of questions from some of my guests and what they would want to know about the fixed income market. But okay. to start with, let's even give a definition to what the fixed income market is. So what is fixed income? Fixed income, Yeah. as uh, the name states, is kind of investment that you get um, a stable and predictable return mm. on the investment until maturity. Yeah. Yes. There's something called the coupon rate. So the coupon on fixed income, you get it either six months, semi-annually or annually. Mm. It depends on what the contract states. Mm. So it's stable, it's predictable. You mm. know, after six months, I get this as return. After six months, I get this as return. Mm. That at the end of the maturity, you get your principal payment. Yeah. Mm. So, so, what, what, so, okay, so if you're saying it is, as the name implies, yeah. it is basically fixed. Fixed, yes. And nothing, and I just know that there's a particular amount of interest that precedes yeah, my... Yeah, coupon, yes. Yeah, that's, that's why. But, so what are the people, I understand that, okay, when we talked about crypto, we says, okay, it's a, it's a decentralized... Um, Okay. Yeah, it's a decentralized yeah. um, platform where nothing, nobody issues, nothing does, nothing happens to your money. But well, that is very different yes, for fixed income. But in terms of fixed income, who are the people that issue fixed income? Where can you get fixed income? I mean, how can you even access fixed income? Okay, investment? first of all, fixed income, they're also known as bonds. So I'll be using the term bonds okay. also. So bonds are raised by the government, issued by the government, and 
corporate, that's private firms. Mm -hmm. So it, the government wants to um, go into a project, do a project, carry out a project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they raise, they borrow money from people, investors, mm -hmm. the public. Same as corporate. So major issuers of fixed income instruments. You have the government, you have the private firm. Me as an individual. Yes. Now I can't issue out. Individual as what? I don't have a. I don't have a company. Maybe a sole proprietor. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because the, because before you, your your instrument is being listed on the platform, for instance, the FMDQ, you have to have a company. What are you using the money for? Oh, okay. Is it going to generate cash flow? How do you okay. pay back these people? How okay. do you convince somebody to give you that? Mm -hmm. So that's the difference between fixed income uh, investment. It's between the government and issuer and several other other investors. Mm -hmm. But the loan and uh, interest stuff is mm -hmm. just between one one or two persons, but mm. fixed income to have more persons, mm. more, have more people participating in the market. So what are the types, what are the examples of the fixed income investments? Uh, are there types? Yeah, yeah, there are different. Okay. Yes, we have the bonds, we have the treasury bills, we have uh, commercial papers. Commercial mm. papers are majorly issued by the corporate firms, mm. short-term instruments, um, nine, 90 days, yeah, 90 days to 365 mm. days, one year. Mm. Maturity of one year. Mm. For government bonds, we have savings bonds. Okay. We have the two year tenure, we have the three year tenure. Okay. We have the normal monthly bonds, mm. 10 year instruments, 15 year instruments, 20 years. I think a, an institution just raised uh, for the first time 40 year instruments. So, mm. so not in Nigeria, anyway, at the global market. So that takes like, you're having like a contract with them for over 30 years. Yeah, for years. over 30 years. That's, that's if you intend to hold it to maturity. There's something you do in the fixed income market. You hold to maturity or you hold to call, yield to call. What's oh. called yield to maturity? Hold to maturity, <laughs> yield to call. No, yield to maturity, yield okay. to call. Okay. So yield to maturity, you intend to hold that instrument for the number of years. Let's mm. for instance, a 10-year instrument. Mm. You intend to hold it for 10 years mm. and collect your coupon semi-annually. Mm. But yield to call, you intend to trade it. Maybe you don't have to necessarily hold it to maturity. Mm. You can see maybe after one year, I'm tired of this. You sell it. And that's where there are fluctuations. Mm. That is no that particular one may not be fixed because now you're doing it at the secondary market mm. and the yield can change. Mm. Now it's determined majorly by the market forces, demand and supply. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So basically what you're saying now is that I'm lending out my money, I'm giving out my money for a particular period of time. Yeah. And after so some an time, institution, yeah, so an government institution. Or so after company. some time I get my money back, I get the interest rates. You get your returns. I your, get my returns. Six months, one year. Okay. depends on how it's stated. Okay. Then at the end of that um, maturity, mm -hmm. you get your full payment. Oh, right. So the fact that you're saying that the most prominent people that issue out these things are... Not prominent people. <laughs> institutions. Okay. Pr okay. <laughs> prominent in that, that issue out these things is yes. the government, right? And yes. private sectors. Yes, yes. Those are the institutions that we yes, get these yes. things from. Does we also it make have it other safe? people, but... Yeah. But does it make it safe? The fact that it's coming from it, this set of people, does it make it safe? Or this set of institutions, according like to you? When we're talking about safety, we're talking about risk. Okay, yeah. Yes. Um, for government bonds, government are instruments, yes, they are somewhat safe because it's backed by the full faith of the federal government, mm -hmm. Nigeria or any other sovereign. Okay. So the risk there is not that the government won't pay. Okay. The risk there can now be inflation. Oh, okay. Mm. But and the the coupon rates are usually lower than mm. that of corporates. You know, I don't know if you've heard the higher the risk, the higher return. Yeah, the returns, so yeah. government because it's way because it's way safe, mm. so the return is lower. But for corporates, private firms, because it can be risky, the the gov the company can go bankrupt and your money is gone too. Mm. So because of that risk involved, so the coupon rate is also higher. So you are speaking to the fact that you have to, um, you, you do not necessarily have to understand the market, or do you have to understand the market? For every kind of investment, before you think of investment, please educate yourself financially. Okay. For every kind of investment, mm. fixed income or otherwise, mm. please educate yourself. Okay. So is there an appropriate time to double into such a thing? When you say double. <laughs> <laughs> not as if it's gambling. It's no, not, you're not gambling. Okay. It's not a Ponzi scheme. Okay. Yeah, okay. exactly. No, 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 no. It's not a Ponzi scheme. This is very safe, according to you. Yes. You've established that it for is government, safe. For government, yes. For yes. government instruments, government bonds. It is private, very much safe. Yes. Private can be risky. And one thing, again, uh, we have uh, credit rating uh, agencies. Mm. These people rate these companies. Mm. We have companies that have investment grade 
uh, companies that have uh, bigly investment big. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, for instance, uh, MT was given a rating of triple A. So you may be confident, say, okay, and the race, they always um, issue uh, commercial papers and bonds. And say, okay, because of the credit rating of this company, let me invest. However, the credit uh, rating institutions, you cannot be totally trusted. You have to also do your due diligence before investing in a company. Mm. Now, we both can relate to what I'm about to say now because we're women <laughs> and okay. we understand that our needs are so much insatiable. It never ends. Okay. We need money to your do wants. a lot of things. Yeah, our wants. Yeah. Are so much, yeah, thank you for that. We need money for so much. Like, mm. we need to get a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not trying to tell you that, yeah, this is why you need to do this. This is, you need to do this. So what are the reasons? What are the benefits associated to putting your money, investing your money for a number of years? Okay, now we want to do stuff. We need to do stuff, as you have said. I'm sure they they also have um, the side of don't save. Yeah. So instead of saving mm -hmm. and losing value because of uh, inflation, mm -hmm. you can put your money in fixed income. Mm -hmm. And okay, fixed income. I also want to um, state this too. It's a good diversifier for okay. your portfolio uh, diversification. So it's always advised in your portfolio diversify your portfolio have a well diversified portfolio in the sense that don't have don't let all your investments go in the same direction so spread it you spread it board. yes so fixed income is a very good diversifier so uh, okay let's even say for people that don't even have a portfolio i'm sure they, they want to save mm -hmm. so instead of saving <laughs> where it will lose value you can put it in fixed income where so you instead of at least at the bank yeah you Piggy bank. I don't no, 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 I'm not saying piggy bank in that. I mean, I mean the traditional one. So instead of having that in my house. I okay, no, money, yes, yes. I mean. Instead of, okay, instead of having that, yes, yeah. you can put your money in fixed income. Okay. And you know, at the end of government uh, bond, you know, at the end of five years, ten years, mm. you get your full payment and you'll be getting a uh, returns every six months. Mm. So it's I think we've had like an uh, interesting conversation so far. So let's talk about the success rates over time. I mean, for fixed income, mm. like you study the market and you know so much about mm. it. What has been the success rate so far? I mean, this would give some level of trust to whoever is. Oh, okay. For thing. bond, for government bonds, yes, we, we have something like a uh, oversubscription, where maybe they offer hundred billion, and what comes in is two hundred billion. Mm. That means people have huge trust in the government, and what happens, the government will pay. So we usually have oversubscription. Even some private firms, when they issue uh, debt instruments, we see oversubscription. So people kind of trust that, that, yes, it's a good investment, especially when you've studied the company. We always, yeah, this is, there is uh, the savings bond for January savings just closed yesterday. And I'm sure if the result comes out, we'll also see oversubscription or something mm. like that. Yeah. So how often, because I know that when we're talking backstage, you made mention of how we can access some of these things. Oh, Why the people we need to talk to? Oh, okay. Where do we need to get us information? Your stock book has financial information, Prussia Nigeria. Okay, very yes. well said. <laughs> Maybe you need to say that. <laughs> financial information, Prussia Nigeria. Okay. Yes, because um, when DMO... These things are usually posted on our site. Okay. So when uh, instrument comes up like this, we gather information from mm -hmm. our site. Yeah. Then government, we have monthly government bonds. Mm -hmm. We have savings bonds that also that comes out mm -hmm. every month. We have treasury bills. Okay. DM also sells treasury bills at least twice a week, most okay. times twice a week. Then you look out for companies to down to raise uh, debt instruments. Okay. So, so basically, that's all. Mm, yeah. Then for the thing, we surface need to know level. About it. How? Is there any other information we need to know about the fixed income that I probably have not asked? Well, I mentioned uh, for every investment, please be um, educated. And I also want to say uh, wealth creation, because the whole of this thing is wealth creation. Wealth creation, yes. yeah. Wealth creation is, uh, you may say, oh, fixed income is the returns are so low. Yeah. Please, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, it's gradual. Okay. You get there. Just have a goal, have a target, and you get there. So I think that sums it up. <laughs> Just have a goal, just have a target, and you would definitely get there. I love the fact that you talked about um, portfolio diversification. Yes. I mean, if I'm not going on with anything, apart from the fact that I know so much about the fixed income markets, at least I know the ABCs now of yeah. fixed income markets, now I can decide if I want to invest, when I want to invest, and how to go about it. Mm. I mean, that's like... In the portfolio, yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah. Portfolio I mentioned mustn't be only fixed income. 
you can do equities you can do we talked about crypto last yeah. week you can also do crypto yeah. but just at the end of the day have a diversified portfolio mm. so that when one is going up at least when one is going, going south, south yeah, is going, going up yeah. yes definitely so that's a good way to end today's conversation i mean i learned portfolio diversification i think yes. i'm going to go into emphasize on that thank you for coming thank it was you. great speaking thank with you. you thank you for um, having me. i'm going to ask you here on camera <laughs> if i invite you next time are you going to come <laughs> yeah as long as there's time why you know just tell me before time put it in the schedule yes thank you very much for coming thank you thank you me. for more of your personal finance information log on to www.proshiaengine.com to get that to watch more of our videos forward slash web tv you know i will do it thank you for watching um, please stay safe out there. They say COVID-19 or Omicron Delta variant is still there. But please stay safe. And until next time, thank you for watching.